beginning, everyone's been asking me, what is this going to be? And <laughs> you just can't define it. And I say, well, you have to come to the premiere and see what it's going to be. The show very much is not talking about dance, hardly at all, as much as dance is now one of the languages that the show uses to express itself. You know, to tell multiple stories about taking risks and, you know, letting go and falling in love. And dance is one, you know, major piece of, uh, you know, of the language we're going to use to tell those stories. We live in this city that is brimming with incredible artists. I've met with just, say, the choreographers uh, uh, alone. I've met five people who have brilliant ideas that are like, just really expansive. There's a director, there's five choreographers, there's a lot of people involved, and we have to let go. Often a choreographer is the sole driver of, of their section, so they are needing to let go also of their sense of control, and it's just an easy win-win scenario when you have this team that you believe in. A large testament to Billy in, he creates a very safe place to make incredibly dangerous choices. <laughs> in 55 years at Second City, one of the words that doesn't get used is scale. And it's like, I mean, after I saw the first show in the Harris Theater, I was like, oh my god, this toy box is so big. Yeah. It's so fun. I would never, ever, ever produce a Second City show at Harris if it was just Second City. In the, con in the context of what we're doing, it's the perfect venue um, because we're creating something different. We couldn't do it without Hubbard Street. The idea, in a Second City show, any airplane you've ever had, you've been like, well, you could have two people as the passenger, then one person would be that, oh, we're running out of people. And like, <laughs> it's fun to me because 1,000 Pieces was the biggest thing that we had ever done up to that point. <laughs> so for us to think about that being a starting point, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just thought it was like, we were talking about something, and TJ's like, Billy, how's it feel to be directing the opening ceremony? <laughs> I think I said to someone the other day that this will either be the grandest success or the greatest failure of all time. <laughs> and I really mean that in the best way possible. For the people who are only in their particular stories, I think it's still totally crazy for them, you know, because they don't see it and they're like, what's going on over there? <laughs> like, is, is this, does this make sense over there? Because it doesn't make sense over here, you know, like. You're so you, people who come and see this are going to see a production that was using like, you know, four studios at a, at a time. I know for myself it's starting to like really, I'm starting to see like, oh wow, this is how this is coming together and this is how we're gluing these parts and it's so beautiful, inspiring and cool. He's like Terry's working on, he took a, you know, he took a, a, a short dance piece that has like, it's like, you know, 40 seconds to a minute long. Um, it, it's got a couple of laughs in it, it's cute, and now he's turned it into something that's like far more magical, interesting, and more dangerous. So, <laughs> it's definitely more dangerous. <laughs> Early on, I think it was like one of our first, like, I think it was the first meeting with the choreographers, Alejandro was like, no, you have to tell me, this, this doesn't all have to be funny, right? This can be serious moments, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 well, we can, we can do. Sky's the limit, man. Everyone's asking me to define it, but what it's not is just going to be silly, fun, kind of running around the stage. I think it'll have uh, some touching moments, some profound moments, and some truth, which is the underlying theme of humor. Also, and this is a quintessential Chicago thing. I don't think this, this doesn't happen elsewhere. Uh, there's a certain aspect of um, second cityness. Uh, uh, there is a certain aspect of uh, civic pride and collaboration. Um, and, and also, it is a city of works. And this is work, and we like doing work. And, um, and it doesn't end here. The, the, the hope is that we've started a conversation that can just continue to go on and find new ways. And we hope other people find ways to mash up and collaborate.